Finding a 12 volt DC fridge for your RV or van can be tricky. Not long ago, these things used to cost a small fortune. But now, more affordable options are starting to show up. This is what I will talk about. I received a fridge from the brand Favor. As always, my review is independent. First, let's talk about power consumption. This fridge can run on both AC and DC. Meaning, you can either plug it into your inverter or connect it straight to your battery. It just started up. I ran some tests and in 24 hours, it uses 220 watt hours when plugged into AC through the inverter. This is where we lose efficiency two times. One, to convert the power from the battery to AC and then from AC through the power adapter back to DC. If you run the fridge on DC alone, it pulls just 180 watt hours. So I recommend running it on DC alone. To give you an ID, my standard 100 watt fridge uses about 600 watt hours per day. While that fridge is much bigger and works only on AC, it wouldn't be practical in an RV. Which is why compact, efficient models like this one are perfect. I don't recommend using this fridge as a freezer, because the energy consumption is a lot more. I have tested it and it draws 600 watt hours per day. That's as much as my standard refrigerator. Let's figure out how long this fridge can run on a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery. 12.8 volts times 100 amp hour gives you 1280 watt hours of stored energy. Divide that by the 180 watt hours this fridge uses in a day and you'll get about 7 days of runtime. That's a full week of use without needing to recharge the battery. This of course depends on the temperature of the room. My measurements are done at room temperature of 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. If you run this fridge in freezer mode, a 12 volt 100 amp hour battery will last you only 2 days because 1280 watt hours divided by 600 watt hours equals 2 days. Now let's take a look at the inside. You can comfortably fit about a week's worth of groceries in here. The temperature is fully adjustable, so you can switch between fridge or freezer. If you need more space, they also have larger models with dual compartments, where you can set one side to be a fridge and the other to be a freezer, or use both sections for the same purpose, depending on your trip. The one thing that's not as good with this fridge is that this small compartment will be a few degrees warmer than the main compartment. Since it's quite small, I suggest storing non-food items here, like drinks. There is also a Bluetooth app to control some additional settings, like temperature units. Here is a diagram on how to wire the fridge when it's running on DC from the DC fuse box. I made a video on how to wire a DC fuse box if you want more information. The fridge uses a maximum of 50 watts when it's running. On a 12 volt system, that means it will draw about 4.2 amps. We will apply a 1.25 safety factor, bringing the current to 5.2 amps. For this, a 14 gauge wire will do the job, as it can handle up to 25 amps. Since we only need to protect the circuit for 5.2 amps, we will use a 10 amp fuse. If your DC fuse box 
has a 40 amp max load, you will need to use a 50 amp marine rated battery fuse and an 8 gauge or 10 mm square wire coming from the battery. If you only have to power the fridge, then you can use this simpler diagram. We wire directly to the battery terminals with an inline fuse. The fridge comes with a lighter socket connector, but if you prefer, you can cut it off and wire it directly into your DC fuse box. If you're wondering which cable is the negative, here's an easy way to tell. One wire will be smooth and the other one will have edges. The one with the edges or ridges is your negative wire. When the fridge kicks in, you'll hear the built-in fan. It's there to help with the airflow around the condenser, which is the part that gets hot at the back of a fridge. It's not super loud, but if you're in a small space like an RV or van, you will notice it. It's louder than a normal household fridge. Let me turn on the fridge and then we will hear the fan start to kick in so you can have an idea of the noise it makes. I just turned the fridge on. Let's wait a second. And it just kicked in. All in all, this DC fridge is ideal for anyone going off grid in an RV, van or a camper. If you want to buy this fridge, you can use the link in the description. I will get a small percentage at no extra cost to you. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.